Hi, hello everyone. Are you hearing me? I hope so. Just let me know if I'm already live. If you can see me, if you can hear me. Hello, Amy. And hello everyone that is already here waiting for my live. So happy. <laughs> oh, thank you, Laura. Uh, yeah, here is raining and cloudy and gray too. <laughs> Yeah, thank you. You can see me, you can hear me. Awesome. So, yeah, hello, everyone. Here is uh, 3 p.m. afternoon uh, in Portugal. And just let me know a little bit where are uh, Germany. I see USA, Indiana. Again, all over the world. I'm so happy. Hello, Marilyn. <sighs> Oh, it has been this weekend such amazing, amazing lessons and so many exercises and things to, to create and be inspired. Yeah, it has been amazing. <laughs> and did you see my video earlier uh, and uh, uh, some hours ago? I hope I have inspired you a little bit with my garden and the flowers and the vegetables and the way I bring nature outside from my art table. And my idea is to continue that, um, that inspiration from the garden and now here in my art table. <laughs> and we get to create some loosen and some exercises to loosen up our flower sketches. Um, Thank you, Amy. <laughs> yeah, my garden uh, is really wild, okay? It's like beds uh, that we weed, but then around it's everything wild uh, because, uh, yeah, uh, I, love, I love that wildness. Um, <laughs> yeah, so let's get started a little bit. I think we have... Many people here now, and um, hopefully uh, you have your supplies with you. We are going to be very simple. Uh, as you saw in my video, we don't need too much. We just get to be inspired with color and with textures, and then some pencils, some watercolors, and we are good to go. Some papers. Um, and that's my idea for today. Um, and I wanted to give... I'm going to put my camera on top so you can see just let me know if the captions you have you have access to captions because in the other life i think i couldn't figure that out so i hope that you can all uh, understand me okay so i'm going to change my camera yeah so you are seeing my table right now yes no captions or oh. so I'm sorry but probably I didn't I don't know how to do that <laughs> in the time okay thank you Laura so hopefully we can just more play than talk and uh, we all get to understand each other so what I want to make with you today is really focused on losing and um, losing up with flowers. And if you saw my video earlier, you see that um, we can be uh, blocked or very afraid to draw these beauties that uh, bloom and they are perfections from nature. But sometimes it's really kind of difficult to to draw them because most of us try to 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 art and to make what inspires us and uh, not even everyone knows how to draw beautifully perfectly and whatsoever and my goal is not to do that either okay I've learned that the way that I want to express it's not 
um, that realism of the things that I I look around, but I want to, as you as you saw in my video, I want to express what inspires me and not the realistic things of what I see. So I started to look as I go through my garden. I started to look on the things that nature, the transitions of nature. Okay, and this beautiful flower leads to a pod that is um, really weird, and we even uh, get can't guess that this was from here. So, uh, I don't know if Amy Amy's um, leading with the chat. So, okay, and so I. I started to just um, creating and exercising my sketches around these other forms of nature. And today I want to play with you a little bit of with that. Just sometimes we just need some lines, uh, some quirky and wild um, lines of the things that we see. And immediately our eyes know that this is a flower and we can't you will not we don't need to do it perfectly and you saw me making some little uh, a quick sketch on my garden and i have here some ideas for you for example here is a collage and i have some parts of plants the other thing that i love to do on my compositions is not to do the entire flower the entire thing i use i use parts and if we have time, I go a little bit on some composition at the end. If we have time, you know, just you have you you um, just need to do some um, parts of the plants, and we don't need to get very realistic to have a beautiful page that speaks to us. So let me grab just another one here, just a quick sketch on my. On my journal and let me see I have here some more no here no here here another one so yeah my idea is to uh, today we get just um, something like this just papers that just some sketches or papers that you can then uh, pick up when you are going to create your pages and you can rip and create a, a background or a collage using, for instance, the, um, the marks that we did in the last live. So everything then combines into a composition. Okay? Is everything okay? What I'm going to use? Paper? Just let me just clean a little bit of parts of the flowers. Just some papers. Okay, uh, some of are the leftovers of our last life. So I like to use, as you probably have seen uh, already, different thicknesses and different um, kind of papers, like um, transparents, um, some with taste, uh, text, um, gesso, with color, not color. So if you play with these different um, additions to your papers, you already creating dynamic and um, texture when you are going to create your composition. Okay, so we are, I'm going to play with you on white and some color with ones. Okay, so hopefully, grab some papers and then. Um, let me put here a oh, wow. Let's start with a white, almost white vintage one. Put this aside. And then I I selected, as I add on my supply list, I selected some pens. Let's play with some pens, with some charcoal, soft pastel, and some plant some um, paints, uh, probably watercolor. Yeah, just whatever the times uh, the time gives us uh, time to play with so 
One thing that I want to tell you, and we are going to start with micro pens or uh, uniball. I realized that when I'm working with these pens, that are uh, with very fine, very thick, thin, thin, I think. Um, we try to control, we tend to control very so much our hand that we can be very loosened. So we are going to start with, the, start with this one. So you can see how we go further to other supplies will help you to get loosened and more uh, relaxed creating and not so overthinking on the shape that you are um, creating. Okay, so if you have, uh, probably you don't have any plants, any flowers there near you, but I'm going to put this one here so we can all see. So what I want, and everyone is with me, just let me know, and I want people creating at the same time, okay? It's real time, so no time to think on the perfect shapes that we are going to create. <laughs> yeah? Okay. Everyone with this, your supplies near you, ready. Okay, so let's do it. So, some seconds, and we are going to do this, and immediately uh, I'm looking for the just the, the quick shape of this, okay? I'm not looking of the, the, the that he has here some little stems, some, the, I'm not looking to the details, I'm looking looking the the entire shape and sometimes I close my eyes like just a little bit like this just to get the quick shape of this so let's do it seconds and let's I see that is around here in my hand and then I have some things here going on and then just the petals Yep, the first one. And I'm not concerned on going on the center and doing whatever is going on here. It's not my goal today. Okay, so it's go for another one. Let's do another one. For example, with, uh, with the uniball. But as you can see and feel, when you are using these pens, we control our hand more. Let me go for one of these zinnias. So I'm going to just see the shape. And, and that's another one. For example, I'm going to do another one with the specs, so you can see. I have here, let me see, well, I have here now, my, oh uh, yes, I have another pen, uh, this, um, a Posca pen, and with a, a big uh, point and okay so this is a um, oh my goodness I got forgot now forgot the name calendula yellow calendula and again I'm going to look upside down just looking for the overall shape And very quickly, I just go and move my pan, trying not to control very much, which is not very possible with the pens. You, you will feel that with other su supplies, you can go more loosen. Okay. 
And right now it seems that you okay. This is not a. This is nothing very very beautiful. But as long as you, as much as you're going to explore and create, and you are going to be more freeing and loosen, and you figure out your way of picking up those elements of nature. Okay, so. Now that we did with pens, and you feel that is uh, it's much a supply that you get very controlled um, with your uh, sketching. Let's go for another one that I love more. I love and normally I use that are shark wall, uh, water soluble pencils, or even soft pastel. So let's go for these ones, and I'm just. Uh, turning off my page because I went down. We compare our papers. So, and for this one, just let me grab another paper. Mm. Yeah, these or mm, yeah, okay, this one. A transparent one. I'm going for um, tracing paper. Okay, what did you feel with the first exercise? Like we control too much our hand. It's um, it's not so. We are more concerned on the shape that we are creating. Now I have here a shark wall pit pencil. It's water soluble. I'm just going to put this. If I put this here. And I go with the water, and we can um, bring uh, the black of the pencil. So I love to use this. Um, I have here some others, different ones. This is another aquarelle, but this is graphite, water soluble graphite. And this is another one. This is not water soluble. So you go. I like to play uh, with graphite shark walls. Okay. So now let's try again the same flower that we started with. Um, Azinia. And now I'm going to grab my shark wall and try to. Uh, grab my pencil far from the the top okay just because yeah stabilo wall is fantastic you just um, get very loosened and then you it's water soluble so you can just play even further with shapes and uh, um, shades so let's uh, hopefully everyone is seeing my zinnia and so I'm going to pick my to grab my pencil far from my hand from the top and again I'm just looking for the bigger shape of this and get your uh, hand um, free okay very smooth and not um, tense okay just don't worry with the shape really don't worry if it's creaky strange uh, not looking like a flower does not matter okay Ooh. Going to another one. Just let me grab my paper. It's dancing on my table. Now you can even go with the other end. It's even more freeing if you go um, uh, closing captions. Yeah, the captions are not working. Sorry guys, I don't know probably how to do that. So 
my I'm going to make the same with my other hand. It's going to be more even more quirky. Just pause, okay. It's really very freeing and you feel that you are not controlling so it's that what you want. Let's go with the, let's go with a, a shape that is weird. Just look at this one. This is the same zinnia, the pink one, but this that's already dried wildly. So this is completely um, like unshapeable for us to draw. So yeah, let's do this one. So I see that there's lots of things in the middle and then the shapes are really again remember that I told you on our mark makings session that I love to just drizzle my pencil so do that see that we now can just create different petals and it's not the same flower and we have beautiful, a beautiful shape to add to a page. I'm going to do another one, for example, this one. It's almost, oh my goodness, <laughs> completely uh, falling apart. So. And we still are uh, going through shapes of the nature. And I love those shapes here. And with these, with the stabilos or with them, um, totally different, yeah. And it, uh, it's um, more, I feel that looking to these um, falling parts of nature at, at this time, fall and winter, when we are going to to sketch them, the shapes, because we are not so concerned about the beauty of the, the flower and how difficult it is to get that, that we uh, get more free, so the effect is even better than when we, ta we try to create a beautiful shape. For example, let us do this um dried um sunflower pot the sunflower i love sunflowers as you saw in my video and they are i have to i need another paper because i'm working on little ones and it's really a strange form so and it's round here so let's go for it And you can you don't need to go all along. I I know I love to, to do parts of the plants, not all of the forms. So you can do that, or you can go all around and see that we here we don't see already this sepals. So yeah. And we then we can go inside and play or do another thing on our composition. You know, it's um, endless possibilities. And with the Stabilo uh, and all that is water soluble, the, the, I love to come then with some water. I have here my glass of water. 
And then we can come and you can go just creating, just uh, putting some water on the top of the drawing, your sketch. We can just bring some of the shades inside. It's just a matter of playing, you know. How cool is this? I love this. You can play like this, you can cut the, 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 your flower and head to another uh, background that you are creating. Yeah, with Stabilo Oil and Watercolor color Graphite is amazing to work. How oh, cool! And this one here, let's do the same with some of the little bit of just clean a little bit. Yeah. And doing this, you are just um, starting to uh, catch the some skills on. Um, shade, um, depth on your sketches or on your composition. So, it you want to be very um, on your art practice. Play like this, just like um, this simple exercise, but that are going to empower you with some other skills that then you will combine creating more in-depth uh, creations you know uh, a couple of the rainy flowers ah it's very good here this one here So with Stabilos and water soluble, ah, I want to make just another one of water solubles that I just love to use so you can see all the possibilities. Just look at this. Love it. I want to make uh, uh, one or two with another thing that I love because it's really loose and it's water soluble too, that are soft pastels. And because they are very um, thick, you get uh, a beautiful shape too. So let me just put this aside it's, while it's drying a little bit. Okay. Let's do, for example, here with soft pastels. <coughs> Sorry. Yeah, here. Um, soft pastels are very... I love them, you know, because they are, um, how to say, they are easy to work and again, you are not controlling so much your hand. So, uh, it's uh, one of the, um, the things that I love to use. Again, let me, share, let me see, yeah, you can, we can go with this again, with our sunflower, dried sunflower. And again, just oh the color is not good to see on the camera so I'm going with the pink probably so you can see no it's not I think you are not saying seeing that with that so I'm going to change for another background because I think I think you can see this one okay so I'm going with the white and so I'm going with some brown Again, on the top of my fingers and the, the, my hand very loose and just to catch. And you can go really 
uh, wild and uh, not um, telling too much about the original piece, you know? Just go and play, have fun, don't overthink. And uh, is on this kind of place, most of the time, that I get the best shapes, you know, when I'm just playing with no result and on my mind. It's just play. And again, this is soft pastel, is very similar with the shark wall. And we can come here and wow, and play and bring some of that color. I had here um, a test book and I had some gesso, and then I'm working on top of this. I forgot to say that. Um, but if we do this directly on textbooks, it's okay because, as I said to you, I love I love to use different because then we can have um, them to our pages and they are different shapes. Just look how beautiful. And with this, again, you can play with shades, uh, paint, uh, pushing, uh, pushing, it's not pushing, uh, pulling the paint uh, inside or getting the shapes to outside the, um, the shade. Sorry, sometimes uh, my Portuguese gets on my head and the English is difficult to, <laughs> to come out. Ah, just look, I love how... This is turn, this turns, you know. And then imagine this, uh, everything, this is after dried and making some marks as we did in the last um, lesson and then some tests and yeah, you already have almost a page fade uh, make. Yeah. And you could you can always come with other colors, okay? Making some you can go just more complex on your things and getting more colors. Blend them. And it's, we we are starting to um, we don't have it exactly what we had on the. It's like it's, this is just a reference, but we get the, the shape here. And I hope this makes sense for you. Okay. Yeah, just let me see if anyone, um, oh, <laughs> thank you, my English is, sometimes my Portuguese and the English lack. Okay, but hopefully we can understand all each other, so it's good, thank you. Yeah, you are understanding, you can go even uh, further with your, with this, okay? But I want to make another one, just to get as much as I can with losing flowers to give you some other ideas. And now I want to go with paint. This one I have here is with paint um, and, so, and a, a brush. So I want to make another one with this. Okay, this aside to just um, dry. And probably I will use now. This is a little bit of vellum, okay? Because transparency are awesome. Because you then can just um, on your papers you can. Let me see 
a text one. For example, here, uh, imagine that you are creating a page, you have your flowers, you have your text, and then you create uh, something on vellum or a transparency, and you create texture and uh, depth on your composition. So I love to use create on transparency too. So, and probably I will use on this one white and on this one black. I have here <coughs> a plate, just, <coughs> just need to, to a little bit of water. So, uh, thank you. Okay, I have here a uh, a little bit of acrylic, black acrylic, and add some water, just to be watery, because when you work with watery things, you get even loosen and more freeing, and not to think, again, that is what we want here, not to overthink on the shape that we are creating, okay? So, and with the white, I have here also the same, but probably I need to add a little more water. Just let me put here more because I want to. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And I have here another thing that I uh, shared with you in the last uh, session that I had with you that is. You could use coffee, instant coffee. This is a walnut ink and it gives us this brown that I love because as you saw, I love brown and it gives me this nature shape that I love to use too. So we are going to sketch something with this too, so just so you can see how it turns out. So first things first, let's start with the black and uh, where is my yeah. I have um, like a watercolor brush with a round point. Okay, put this here, and I will go with my black and another form. Let me sh okay, or this one. I love this one. I saw you, uh, you saw me on my video. Uh, grabbing these flowers. I have this, uh, this was the first year that I grow these beautiful flowers like paper. After dry, they are like paper and after they seed, uh, this part is pulled off because the seeds go with the wind and we get this amazing beauty that is, uh, it's so beautiful. So let's go with this. So we have this big hole here with the organic, rounded, deformed shape. And we are going for it again. Grab your, um, your pants, your brush far uh, and go on your paper. Uh, just remembered another thing. When you are working um, on bigger papers, I found that it's better to get to loosen because you get more comfortable with the big paper. Okay, let's do with this one. Just okay, and then it it has little little petals, dried petals, and it has very uh, lots of layers. So we just and you create just little shapes of petals with the point of of your brush not overthink just go so create another one so you you can just go for a walk and find other not so uh, not only flowers get some things on uh, uh, grab things on nature and the most weird ones and challenge yourself to just play with them just create and explore the shapes and most of these shapes 
can give you ideas of marks that you can make on your marks. You know, for example, this one is lots of dots here. So dots could be an amazing um, mark to make on a composition. So are endless the possibilities. Yeah. Yeah, yes, isn't it? Just go. And you can really control this, so. Just a little more. And I get more and more weird with my forms. Yeah. I'm going to another one. Let me see. For example, this Dinia, it's really, oh my goodness, it's really a dried end with no shape, <laughs> with, an, uh, with a weird shape. So let's go for it. just playing around and again we can go you can come again with your water on the pencil on your brush and just explore again with some shades and I love to do this and it's like you are embedding your flowers on a background or something that you can just then imagine a text here or add another color. Yeah. Are you enjoying and working with me? I hope so. <laughs> See? For example, um, I'm thinking that you then can combine all the, um, the different ideas that I'm sharing with you. For example, I could be here with... A, I could become here again with the soft pastel and getting for example uh, a leaf on my on my and again I'm always looking for uh, not overthink on my shapes just drizzling it's just putting color and a kind of a shape not too much okay um, for example, with the white one, the white one on, um, just let's do this one. This is from, I think, this is from um, Wild Carrots Seeds or um, uh, Fnell, I think, Fnell. I have lots of Fnell on the summer on my garden, just... Let's go with our brush again and white, a little bit of white. So again, far from the, the end, I'm going to put something darker so you can see. Okay, now it's better. And another cool thing of these um, uh, collections that I gather to my to my house from the the garden is that with the um, with these flowers you only get them when they bloom, and then they fade and they get or dried or they gone. So you can pick them and they last all the winter. So you get 
always inspired, you know. And uh, I would be, I would come here, for example, I love to create and play with different thickness of the lines. I would um, dry this and then with the black, for example, a black pen, the micron, I could come here and dry another flower on the top of this. It would be amazing. Again, the, f the leaves of, of the fennel are not like these, but who cares that? It's just, um, the thing is just expressing what the, the, the reference that you have on your mind. Okay. So let's let's, let's uh, dry this. Uh, let me see the time. Oh my goodness! I would love to create a quick composition. So what I had more for you, I would love to 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 do once with watercolors, and I will give you these tips so you can uh, create later. Watercolors are great, also to loose, uh, to create your very loosened flowers and so, or fluid acrylics because they, um, you can water, watery, watery very, very well and then you can again and don't think on the forms and For example, um, this here. You know, as much as you get uh, watery things and um, you grab your brushes and pencils for far from the, the end, you get more loosen. For example, sticks are awesome too. You have some sticks and you get even more loosen because it's really out of control. You see? And Okay, so um, normally I use, I'm just I'm playing uh, with this exercise, and then I get lots of these uh, random papers with lots of sketches. Okay, and what I love to do then is if you if you have if you take the other lesson about the um, the marks you can just with uh, marks and these I have here I go a little bit just let me okay I have here I just give you I want to give you another just the last tip okay before we go So I hope to see you all in Wonderlust. Okay, next year, I'm uh, I'm already know what I'm going to do, and okay, it's about nature, of course, and a very unusual element of nature that um, it's not very usual. So I'm super excited to bring you that. Uh, what I this this was just the last thing the last thing this was um, the the paper that I have 
underneath my table in the last session that we have is just a cereal box that I always gather from my kids. And then when I'm paying, when I'm creating something, I'm going to blah, 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 put everything here. And I even sketch after our life. I was inspired and I just scribble and think on things. And with this, I would just go being here and tear apart some elements, okay? And I would be collaging them. I would be... Uh, gathering the things that we did on our last session with marks and I would be creating and starting thinking on a composition you know just and as and with these elements it's more easier for us to create a composition and um, to see things different okay and to to start to uh, you to start to think uh, to create your own style your own things okay so i hope that i want to go a little bit on the chat just to see what you all said if you have any questions about this um and i really hope that you get inspired and that you see nature and things around you in a different way. Inspiration is every, everywhere. And probably you are not so a nature lover. And I'm, I'm bringing nature because it's what inspires me. But I want you to give you this idea that look at what you love. Okay? The things of, uh, that inspire on your life family, a movie, or books, and that there you have the references to, to create. Just let me go a little bit on the chat. Um, I hope you like it, and I want to see all your sketches, your losing flowers. Um, let me put these here, another one here, so we wrap, we wrap up all our flowers. I love this one. I love this one. Our Van Gogh dried sunflowers. <laughs> okay. Um, well, thank you. I really appreciate that you have enjoyed this and I can see my sketches getting loosened and loosened, yes, and you're getting better and better as you practice, as in marks and as in everything. You go and you just like, uh, you gain confidence because at the first we start to see our flowers like, oh, I can't draw a flower, this is nothing. We started like this, you know, remember we started like this one, but then when you get other supplies that giving you that um, loosen way you start to gain confidence and yeah i like this more and um, then you start creating your work because you have confidence of that uh with that okay look at what you love yeah definitely that completely uh inspiration is all around you just you just need to be uh it opens Eyes open. Thank you so much for being here. Oh my, I just did a whole life for watercolor paper. Yes, please tag me because I would love to see. I don't know if in the classroom we can have photos. I think I believe I. Uh, it's possible. So please put there your uh, drawings. I would love to see them. And hopefully the video earlier this av uh, afternoon and this lesson will give you an idea how you can bring inspiration for you from your daily life to your art don't know what is called in english bister i don't know what is what is a bister please amy or anyone can please tell me what is uh it's like a nip pen yeah a nip pen no what's called Burn it wood, like um, I think I don't know. Thank you so much. Let me go. 
Yeah, there's a lot in short time. Yeah, th thank you, Rebecca. Yeah, I wanted to give you different ideas on how you get, um, how you go with different uh, supplies and the results that you can get. And another thing is, is just if you have the supplies around you, just use them. Explore with them. I always do the question, what if... What if I do with this? What if, what if I do add water? And I if so, and you go on and go on, and uh, in, uh, creativity never, never ends. You mix with water, then um, I have to to check that out because I don't know what is a bister. It's like um, a paint. Oh, okay. That's only. I have to. This is what I what I use is this. Uh, this walnut ink is like in Portugal we call this nogalina. It's like something that we. Um, this is black. It's like a granulated black thing uh, that people use to um, to add to furniture to get it older look or a patina. And then we diluted this. We diluted this with water, and we have this uh, like coffee, but it's more. I think it's more uh, brown. It gets more on the paper. So I love to use this. So, my lovely people, um, in some minutes. Probably it's going to be another live, to happen another live. I don't know, but I think it will. So I really, really hope that you felt inspired, that you do your your sketches in a losing way because you get very confident with that. And um, I, I hope you enjoy all these amazing lessons and all this great weekend and tomorrow it will be more. Uh, so I'm... Thank you all for being here with me and play. And I see you uh, in Wonderlust 2023. Please join me and bye-bye from Portugal. Thank you so much.